Hello everybody, it's Licky Giraffe here with part 3 of my Dark Souls walkthrough. So in the last two parts we ventured into the Undead Burg and I slew the uh, Black Knight, I think his name was. Uh, and then I cowardly retreated back here uh, because I didn't want to potentially lose all my souls. So I'm just gonna level up real quick. Um, let's buff my endurance um, and as well in the last video I think I said that I would skip the part where I run all the way back to where I was but I've decided against that uh, I think it's only fair that you guys you guys get the, the full experience and so that I show you guys you know all my failures all the all the all the painful backtracking all of it <coughs> So without further ado, let us carry on. Nice. Ah, I didn't even aggro that guy. That's pretty handy. As I slew him. Cool. Get some stuff. Not really very important. Um, I don't think I need to kill this guy, but I always do because I get paranoid that he's just gonna like run up behind me at some point and kill me. This guy too. Plus as well, um, it's pretty easy souls to get and I just love collecting souls. So, this guy's next. I'm getting cocky, I'm getting cocky. I'm trying to I'm trying to beat them all in one go. Luckily I did not lose too much health. Crap round shield, I know the one I have currently is better than that. Um, I love this guy actually. If you don't if you don't if you didn't know this guy was here and you continue down there, you'd be facing you'd be facing what three guys and this guy would suddenly start shooting you from behind and it would probably be game over. Actually even if we look up here, you can even see the route we're going to be taking. Like, talk about, you know, like, uh, like lovely, lovely contiguous level design. It's, it's just, it's, it's gorgeous. So let's carry down here. As well, I really like, again, I suppose it's kind of just how Dark Souls does its thing, but the, the kind of the small, bite-sized encounters but that each one is kind of subtly different so the earlier I had a, like a sword guy, an axe guy and a bomb thrower and before that kind of in that room I had what two an axe guy, a sword guy and something else here I have two sword guys and a shield guy you know like it doesn't, it doesn't each every encounter is different ah oh, come on get out of there <coughs> you know, it's 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 a real nice variety. Come on, just attack me. Ha! I smote you. Um, so yeah, that's where I went down last time, so now I'm going to go up this direction. Whereas before there was a smoldering barrel, so I think I've fallen down that ledge one, maybe two times, and it was incredibly annoying. Um, eventually we are going to go down this path, this path leads to Havel the Rock, but I'm not going to do him yet because I need to get a little bit stronger. can gleefully ignore him for now. Um, actually, in my mind I thought there was like a little... Oh, there he is. Come here you bastard. Haha. -ha. These guys. Get some twinkling titanite 
All that good stuff going on. I'm sure I've already missed some, but I always remember that guy. Okay. Fog gate. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Again, the use of the fog gate. Very useful. You know, whenever you see a fog gate in Dark Souls, you know, you know, they say there's there's something is probably going to happen. Uh, it serves a purpose thing in PvP to kind of like separate areas of the game that kind of PvP could happen in, um, and then from kind of in a regular gameplay sense, uh, it kind of helps to give the player a warning. You know, be be ready. Something could well be across this, and it kind of it builds up this great attitude of kind of respect and uh, cautiousness with the player. You know, so. You know, all, the, all this time we've been, we've been telling you, you know, be careful, be wary, and now with this gate, this fog gate, we're telling you, all right, be extra careful because there's probably something going to happen. So, again, again now for the uh, second, actually, sorry, this is uh, the first boss, boss, boss. So you come in, you've got this long area here. If you look around, as if the game has been telling you to do, excuse me, you find the ladder, kill these guys. Um, who would really make your your life a living hell if they were alive during the boss fight? Um, so we've cleared those guys. Uh, now I could slide down this ladder, but I prefer not to because I'm currently running. I think it's the the Dark Souls fix thing, whatever, which lets me unlock the frame rate. And sometimes sliding down ladders can cause you just to fall into the abyss, and I don't want to do that. So we're on along here. Do 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 do. Whoa, no. Massive monster. The Taurus demon. And all the music goes on and suddenly, you know, its tension is ramped up. You've got massive big thing. He's very angry. So, I climb up here, doing what I learned from last time. Aha. <coughs> Take some nice bit of chunk of damage off him. Pull him away from the door a little bit because I need a little bit more room. Ha! Ah, oh my god! Sweet! Victory achieved! Ah. I was actually hoping for a bit more of a fight there. Um, I've actually seen that happen before in various videos, but that had never happened to me before. Uh, ah! See, and there again, you know, um, Dark Souls doesn't even stop the bosses from uh, from messing up. So, perhaps a little bit anticlimactic, but uh, I guess the the design points are still there. So, kind of, you've got this narrow area, and you really need to kind of go around his feet or duck around. Uh, compared to the the Asylum Demon, um, again the same premise where you start up on him and you can dive down. Um, you have a chance to kind of use that here. We can climb up and dive down, doing a lot of chunk of damage. Though interestingly enough, so I think uh, if you watch the first part, the second part of the video, I stay on the balcony because I'm talking about something, and he actually smashes it, and I fall down. Uh, whereas if you stay up on there, uh, he actually the the, the tourist team actually jumps up onto there and uh, and does battle with you, which happened happened one time. Uh, if I can remember, I actually did pretty well, but then I fell off the uh, the side. So. So you can see if you look carefully, there's like, you see some feet? Aha! Get some more souls. Ah, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Bit of a bit of a cough today. Ah, uh, again. Gorgeous. And it is Sunbro. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Soler of Axdora, an adherent of the Lord of now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You will find that strange. You were you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> she might use this some humanity to turn myself human. Just for the banter. For some reason, I thought that's what it did. Oh, I know. You have to do it at a bonfire, don't you? Whoops. 
My bad. Oh. Anyway, let's get talking to him. So I didn't scare you. I <coughs> came up with this deal, if you have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I really enjoy the fact that a lot of the characters kind of have that laugh at the end. <coughs> gives kind of a certain, uh, what's the word, you're not quite a hundred percent sure, you know, like if they're totally sane. Uh, okay, now, if I can remember, walking up here, see a charred corpse there, another charred corpse. Oh. Alright, let's scamper down before that drake gets even angrier. And if we go down here, we find the first shortcut. Woo! And this will let us very handily move between areas. And this kind of this whole shortcut business again I really enjoy because because you know it offers a sense of like a real real kind of oh what's over there? Is that a soul I missed? Real kind of concrete progress almost. So it's like, oh I no longer need to you know do all like kill all these guys. I want to get to this bit, I can just take the shortcut. And you always feel like you've discovered something really cool when you find a shortcut. Like, oh my god, cool, this like bit leads here and it adds to the whole kind of connectivity of the world. And that's the one, that's what I want, reverse hollowing. Yeah. Love being human. Alright, let's level up. Uh, I'm going to get my strength to 20, and then let's up my endurance. And let's up my endurance again. Because, like I said, I don't really parry that much. I much prefer to just to block everything, taking on my shield. And so, I really, I do chew through stamina quite a bit. Plus, having that equip load is always useful. Uh, okay, now let me try and remember what am I? What do I want to do? Um, so <coughs> the uh, the claymore is on one of those. Uh, it's on one of those corpses over there, and I really like that weapon, and I really want it. I'm just trying to remember how I get it. I think I run up. Well, I run up and first I let the Drake kill all these guys. And then I run back down. And then I run back up again. And I pretty much head over there. Wait until he breathes fire. And then if you stay there long enough, I think he comes down and actually tries to fight you. At which point you run past. You grab the stuff. And then... Um, and then you have, and, th and then you can grab that bonfire. So I think I'm going to try that. Because I don't really have that many um, that many souls. So if I die, it's not the end of the world. It's also actually a great place to farm souls. So now if I just wait here. I can't remember exactly which one it is. But we'll find out. Ah, there's the claymore. 
There's the soul. Alright, let's see if we can get before he chooses. Haha, -ha, yes. <laughs> Quick rest, rest. Boom. There you go. So let's see, I don't remember if there's anything in here. So let's just check. Kill these. Sad pitless crackers. Hmm. Take that. Do, 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 do. Yep, nothing. So we do have some cool broken statues. Uh, the significance of which I don't quite remember. And then you got that statue over there. So crank this. This is kind of like a semi shortcut, I guess. Again, very handy. Um, and I think it's the Drake up there currently. Or did he fly away? It's flown away. Um, in that case, I might just <coughs> see how many souls do I need. I need nineteen hundred, so I might just eat eat some souls, cause just cause just to you know max that level up. Uh, so lost undead uh, humanity. Soul of lost undead. This should actually round up quite nicely, I think. Aha! Brilliant! Wonderful! Okay, actually, ooh, I forgot, I got the Claymore. So let's check that out. Claymore. Of course. Oh, only 16 strength. Wonderful, and it does a lot of damage as well. So I'm going to equip that for now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Premium. Premium weapon right there. Let's see. Um, I'm going to buff my endurance some more. Okay. Cool. So let us carry on. Um, let's see. What way am I going to go? I'm going to go this way. Ha! Whack. And then I know there's a black knight up there, but I won't take him on just yet, because I'll be kind of around this area for a while. So again, see like out of the side, we see <coughs> we see our very first introduction to that metal boar thingamajig. Also very interesting. Uh, since that's a new creature type. Um, I like how we're how we're presented with the scenario. Uh, you know, it's like it's not like we're dumped into arena and suddenly there's this boar charging at us. Now we're kind of given, we're given time to like look at the situation, figure out what he might do. Kablamo. <sighs> figure out what he might do. Uh, and then carry on from there. Actually, you know what? I think I am actually going to go kill that Black Knight. Because I can pull him in into there and just do the fight. So I'm going to do that. So if we run up here. All, all the stairs. There he is. Hello, Mr. Dark Knight. So we run all the way down. Run, 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 run. Do, 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 do. Out here. Down here. Okay, so. Alright, nice into this area here. Uh, backstabs never are not satisfying. So this guy's a really cool, like, great sword. It'd be awesome if he dropped it. Um, cause some of the the Dark Knight or Black Knight weapons look really cool, and I think they are pretty cool to use as well. I think the halberd is like considered to be like a really good weapon. Uh. Oof! Ow! I want me good. Let's take an Estus real quick. Oh wow, jeez, this guy is. Ha ha ha. He showed me. Alright, 
Okay. We'll leave him alone for now. We'll leave him alone for now. We uh we won't push it. Pick up my lost power. Very convenient. And let's carry on. So kill this guy again. That guy comes down chasing us. Do 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 do. Come on. Slew him. Come on. Perfect. So now we see we've aggroed that guy who is very angry. Two guys on the roof shooting at us with a spare guy. Absolutely. I am having so much fun here. I absolutely hate bowmen. Especially now because if we try to circle around you know, to attack this guy's back, the bowmen will shoot us. You know, another really good example of, uh, of kind of the, the encounter design. Ah, uh, nuts. I think I'm gonna might try to is just rush these guys. Be careful not to fall over. Pillage them. Uh huh? And then finish this damn spare guy off. Oh. Where did he come from? Oh, I think I aggroed him when I crossed over the bridge. But again, stuff like that, you know, he could, that could have very easily been like the, the the death of me. If he'd come in, hit me in the back, and then this guy would just finish me off. Okay. Right, so we have big bull guy. Let me think. Do oh, let me think now. How do you um? Should try to reset over here. Uh, I cannot for life me. Oh, is, it, is it in here? Oh, it's in here. So I kind of for the life me remember how you like get stuff onto your quick bar. Uh, black fire bomb. I think is the one. Use these just to take a little bit of damage off them. I don't remember able to kill him with these. Notice as well how you move very slightly forward every time you use the firebomb. So if you're not careful, you could well end up like just killing yourself by accident. Uh, okay, cool. That's low enough. We can. Ooh, actually, what's over here? Um, so now pop down here. And we'll get ready to finish him off. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Uh -huh, okay, very almost messed that up. Oh no! Ah, oh, what is wrong with me? That was unfortunate. Oh well. No, I have no fire bombs. But hey ho! That never stopped me before. Right. Again. I think these spearmen are probably my least favorite enemy because they take so darn long. Come on, attack me! Attack me! Oh 
no, is that... Ah, crap. Cool, I guess we are also attacking this guy now. Oh, no, not quite. Let's see if we can lead him in here. Hit him around the butt. And avoid attacking his armored rest of him. If I'm attacking him in the right place, because like the only place you can, you should be able to attack him is the back, but I can't see him to uh. I can't see him to quite get that. So let him <coughs> attack over there for a while. what's supposed to happen. I've just been really far off the mark every single time. Now, if I'm not careful, I'm going to die again. Oh my god. That was a close one. I'm going to use a second potion. Oh no, he has to be trapped. Oh, thank god. Thank you, Mr. Boar. You champion. Of course, now if I can actually try to attack him like that again, this would be over two seconds. But I seem to be having quite a bit of difficulty. Ah, there we go. So I didn't actually manage it, but I slowly managed to chip him down. Fang Boar Helm. I can remember, that's really good. Ah, uh, yeah, gives me buffs a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna put that on. Haha, <laughs> don't I look cool? Uh, right now, okay, now that he's dead, I'm pretty happy that I can get through this next bit. So, just I can't quite remember, but I think if I am. Um, Oh yeah, so I think I have to become human to kindle this bonfire. So reverse my Halloween, yes. Store my humanity, and then... Okay, so now if I use another humanity... Bing. And then kindle, offer kindle flame. Yes, yes, okay, cool, now I remember. It's all coming back to me. Boom, that's kindled. Now what that lets us do is it lets us have 10 essence flasks, which is awesome. So, diagram. aggro him. No, I didn't aggro him. So I'm going to pop down here. This is the way you would have come if you hadn't, uh, if you had kind of run over the bridge like me. Come here with the rats. The reason I'm here is because rat, rats, I, if I can remember, have a really high chance of dropping humanity. And I only have three left because I've been on a bit of a splurge. I think I lost two when I died to that Black Knight. But uh, in any case, I think I, I usually end up with loads anyway, so I think I should be alright. Him. And this guy. Actually, is my power still there? Hey, my power is still there. Sweet. Get some awesome power. Woo. Playing with fire today. Definitely not my best Dark Souls in. But, you know, if it works. Come on. I think, I think what I'm going to do. When I, okay, there we go. So it's that, right? So if I go. No. That's what I wanted to do. I could not remember how to front kick. Yes. 
R1 and forward and B if anyone else also forgotten. So I think I'll do what I did last time and just rush past this guy. For my own sanity and then wait for this guy to run up here after I've aggroed him. Here he is. Let him get the catch on me the second time in a row. Kick him and finish. Boom. Okay. Right, finally. Some sweet progress. Okay, so we can't make it through there yet, so we need to go down here. This guy, oh, he runs away. So what he's doing, he runs away, and then if you're not paying attention, ambush. And it's wonderful because, you know, at this point, you've seen these guys a few times, and you're like, ah, look at these guys. No, they're really weak, they die so easily. I would just run after this guy and show him how great I am by killing him in one go. When suddenly, haha, no, I've been ambushed by two of them, and then he jumps down on top of you, and you either take a lot of damage and have to use some Estus Flask, or you just plain old die. And I think it's a great way of Dark Souls reminding you again that you should never underestimate an enemy. Just because you fought them before and they look weak doesn't mean that uh, Dark Souls can't like, you know, stump you and cause you to mess up because of those assumptions. Mystery key. And again, another another great kind of piece of encounter design. Um, if you look at both from a kind of a game and a Dungeons and Dragons perspective. So let's see if I can now carefully maneuver my way along these boards. Pick up sweet sweet soul. Um, so yeah, I picked up the mystery key. I don't remember what the mystery key actually opens, but hey ho, I'm sure we'll find out. So anyway, climb, climb, climb. Uh, I don't think there's anything else around here, so through we go. And so you're thinking possible boss fight, boss fight coming up, but no. It is just kind of a separation area. And now though, of course, we see we've come up here where we were, we've seen like our fine work, and now we can carry on. So we see this guy up ahead, a uh, new enemy. And again, much like the boar, it kind of gives us a chance to see him, to eye him up, you know, get, the, get the cut of his jip. And no, I cannot backstab him because I am incompetent. So no, new enemy. You can see the way he's holding his sword, his little shield, even the sound of his attacks. You know, he's very quick. He's mobile. You know, immediately we know. Okay, this isn't see a kind of like a big lumbering like sword guy. This guy is quick. And. If we're not careful, he will mess us up. Oh, look at him. Sneaky Estus Flask. Not a chance. So run. Push him past us. Pillage a corpse. The Night Shield. Again. Lovely environment. Oh, we can see up here at this guy. Waiting. Um, let me think now. Heater Shield compared to the Night Shield. So it's worse in fire, worse in lightning. It's one more stability. I think I'll probably stick with the heater shield, to be honest. Because maybe if it was like maybe 10 stability, but it's literally, literally just uh, this one. Also, see how I already, I already have three humanity again, picking it up. So if I die, I'll lose it all. But uh, 
just shows how much how much easier it is. Okay, let me try kick. Haha. -ha. Getting the hang of it now. Nice, not a tight knot shard. Gonna need those for weapon upgrading. So now if uh if you've been able to kinda extract from your mind like kind of the, the layout, you'll know that we actually saw a guy on our right here when we were when we picked up the night shield. And here he is. Followed by one of these guys as well. Again, Dark Souls telling us, be careful, you know. Ambushes are very easy to do. Because if you haven't been paying attention, then you're going to die. So yeah, take it slow, you know. Look left and right before pr progressing. Okay, let's kick this guy. Womp. He's down. So yeah, there is the night shield over there, or where it was. Now we can run over here. Run, 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 run. Um, I am tempted. No, let's just head straight. I want to head to the, um, the bonfire near the blacksmith. And we're in no rush. Well, we're no particular hunger to grab those. Uh, just dodged. To grab those. I think there's like an item and a weapon, I think. I kind of can't remember, but it doesn't matter. We will pick them up in no time. Uh, as well, another great thing about Dark Souls is the whole Souls element, where if you die, you lose them. Um, and you have to go pick them up. I think it adds a great sense of kind of strategy and kind of tension. You know, or the fact that, uh, you know, say the strategy, oh, do I do I carry on um, and, like, go this route or do I go that route? You know, I have a lot of souls here. I really need a bonfire. And it's a bit easier now that I've played the game and you know where the bonfires are. But playing through the first time, um, you really need to decide, you know, like, which way, <laughs> which way looks most likely or should I just kind of retreat all the way back and kind of carry on now that I know what's coming better. And again, tension, you know, say if you die and you have a lot of souls that you lose, you have one chance to um, save them. Actually, I'm going to rest here and I'm going to kindle this bonfire as well. Uh, you have one chance to save them, you know, so you're kind of you're on edge, you want to be careful. Uh, you know, if you die, you lose a lot of that, I guess. Uh, it's almost like, pro like progress, it's essentially progress. Uh, the souls, you know, the ability to make the game easier. By leveling you up, uh, we'll go talk to this guy. Well, you must be a new and I think, I think, yeah, that it's just it's it's a great, it's a relatively simple way of just adding in that extra layer. And uh, let me think, what do I want to do here? Uh, do I need to repair stuff much? Uh, not really. Learn gesture, hurrah! Let's talk to him some more. I haven't quite decided what weapon I'm going to be going for. It'll either be the Claymore or the Zyhander, I feel. So I want to I want to kind of upgrade my strength to a point where I'm able to wield the Zyhander. And then I can kind of use, use both and decide. Um, do so now. Um, what am I doing? Oh, okay, I don't want to do any of that yet. So I'm going to... Right, whoops. I'm going to talk to him once more just to make sure I get all the stuff out. There's also in that chat, well, you mentioned your ability, so if you hadn't noticed it yet, it's explicitly told to you. Services. 
so there you have it. You know, you kind of get the details of the upgrading system, the difference between, say, reinforcing and ascension. Um, even Steven says, you know, it's really important that you do this. And then at the end, that laugh again. to see you go hollow. So whatever you do, you'd better do it well. <laughs> I'll be seeing you. Uh, so yeah, again, the, the laugh. I really like the idea of the laugh. It just it kind of it helps bind all the pieces together. I feel like it's almost integral to the Dark Souls story. You know, you're never quite sure just how sane everyone is. Uh, again, yeah, really really nice little touch that they put in there. Right, level up. Um, I'm going to level up. I'm going to level up some vitality, actually. This time. Ah. Mm, tough, tough, tough. Yeah, I'm going to put a level in vitality. How much do I need now? I need 2300. So I'm going to need some souls to get me there. Large soul of lost undead. How much is that again? That is 400. So two of these should get us where we need to be, I think. Oh, I know. I think it was 2400, wasn't it? So if you use one of these guys. Okay, no, I was wrong. But anyway, uh, we will upgrade strength again then. I want to get to the Zyhander's required strength, which is 24. That's the one. Okay, cool. Uh, I will probably leave it there then for this video. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I modified the sound slightly, so I should be a little louder. Uh, though, if you still feel like I should change something, please let me know. And I will see you guys for part four. Thanks very much.